Have you ever seen planes drop this red substance to fight wildfires? What is it exactly? In Pitchland this summer, part of the neighborhood was covered, and these scenes are pretty striking. This red color liquid is a retardant. Basically, these are chemicals mixed with water to more effectively contain and suffocate wildfires. And the color? Well, it's just a dye, so that crews can see where they landed. Color does not last very long. Like as soon as the next rainfall happens, then you can't tell that retardant was there. So it doesn't permanently dye the environment. Retardants are pretty common to fighting wildfires. But since we're talking about chemicals dropped in the environment, scientists are trying to understand more about the lasting impacts. There isn't a ton of research on this. They're generally assumed to be safe. Uh, for people and for the environment. In British Columbia, the product used by BC Wildfire Service is FOSCHEC, which is made of ammonium polyphosphate, a common fertilizer. If the retardant gets directly into a body of water, like a stream or a lake, it can kill fish. And then, researchers don't really know how long it could stay in the environment, how it can move, or create long-term consequences, like algae blooms. BC Wildfire Service restrict using FOSCHEC near water and the company that makes the chemical advises the same. But accidents still happen. Like in this creek in Alberta in 2020. A year later, researchers found traces left by the retardant six kilometers downstream from the spill. To kind of challenge the conventional understanding that these retardants just flush out of the ecosystem or disappear after a while. Uh, instead, we found that they can be stored long term and they can move. When it comes down to protecting a community or not using retardant, I think the choice is clear. Our study was pretty opportunistic and there's not a lot of research that has been done on the impacts of fire retardant, especially outside of a lab. Data from BC Wildfire Service shows they use the greatest amounts of retardant during the worst wildfire seasons. With climate change fueling more frequent and intense wildfires, that isn't likely to change. This professor says accidental spills are a risk. This is a real challenge because these are emergency situations. It's difficult enough to be um, flying these these water bombers and retardant uh, machines to drop uh, to drop retardants. He says by studying these products more, we could better understand their composition and limit their impacts on the environment. Because if all the experts I talk to agree on one thing, is that retardants are essential and their impacts remain minimal compared to the impacts of severe wildfires. Chloé Duret-Périgny, Radio-Canada, Vancouver.